Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to turn this meeting over to past president Pat Palmer. He's going to introduce our program. They're stampeding, Bill. They really want you. I know many of you woke up this morning saying, wow, it's December 1st, it's a Tuesday. That means Hal Palmer's gonna be our program chair. Yeah, well, Friday he comes to me and he says, apparently I still haven't learned how to read a calendar. I'm like, yeah, okay. He says, hey, could you be program chair? Sure. Hey, do you have any friends you could call to actually like be the chair of the program? And I said, oh gosh, yeah. It's my pleasure today to present to you my friend Bill Carnahan. Some of you may recognize Bill because you've probably been through the Goodwill Vocational Program. I mean, those of you that can read anyway, ladies, some of the gentlemen. The biggest part, the, the, the biggest thing that I can say about Bill is, is that he's one of those guys that if he says he's gonna get it done, it's done. That's an amazing part of what he does. Some of you might recognize him from the hours and times when he's been here before with me when I thanked him for being a part of the cabaret program. Bill and I spend, oh, you know, a couple of hundred hours of real quality time together making sure that every T is crossed and I is dotted and most of the dates are correct, right? Yeah. <laughs> At any rate, one of the real incredible things about Bill Carnahan is he's a incredible father, great kids, great husband, but he's also, most importantly, uh, in his day job, uh, the direct, one of the directors at uh, the vocational training center at the Goodwill. Bill can teach anybody how to use a computer. Anybody. Tom Wright, you can be taught, man. It could happen. Could happen. Could happen. I can take care of that. Huh? <laughs> I think we should. You got about 2300 to put up, don't you, Greg? <laughs> so the long and the short of it is that Bill is going to talk a bit about the programs at the Goodwill. And most importantly, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Please give a proud and loud lion's welcome to my friend Bill Carnahan. Ah, well, thank you, Pat. Um, and whatever. whatever you are, acting president. Well, thank you for having me here today. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, say about the, the Goodwill is that over the many years that Goodwill has been in service, they have uh, helped people with disabilities and barriers to employment for a long time. And our Goodwill has um, changed that model a little bit. We, instead of helping mostly people with disabilities, we help people, everybody. If you have a barrier to employment, we, we can help you. So, and a barrier can be a lot of different things. A barrier can be lack of transportation, old age, um, lack of work history, a lot of different things. Um, so, you know, we don't just help people with disabilities. We love to help people with disabilities, but we also like to help everybody as well. So what we do there is we have different programs that we can teach. Uh, as Pat said, that I, I'm the computer instructor over there, and, and I, I'm not the director, by the way. Yeah, you're the director of the computer part. <laughs> but um, he's right. We can teach pretty much anybody, even people who can't see. Really? Okay, yes, really. Really, Tom Wright? So there are there are adaptive programs out there for blind people who can to, to the computer actually talks to you and you decide what you want to do based on what it, it says. So anybody with given enough time can learn how to use the computer. So you know that's just the program that I run. But Goodwill has many many programs that they run. Um, we have our CSEP program, which is our 55 and older club, club, yeah, right, program, and we help people, people that are older than 55 get uh, jobs and help them get trained back into the system. Uh, we have warehouse and logistics. We help people to learn how to work in the warehouse environment. That program is through our 
di what? through our distance learning program where we actually teach three locations simultaneously. Uh, one in Tacoma, one here, and one in Yakima. And um, we just help anybody we can. We have our custodial program, teach people how to work in um, the janitorial fields and, and clean and, and be awesome workers. And then we have our retail program, which helps people work in our in retail stores and, and environments such as that, stocking and, and everything else. So um, we do an awful lot for this community. And anything that you donate to the Goodwill, part of the proceeds go back into our vocational programs that teach and help our local community members to how to get back into to work. Um, so um, I don't do well up in public speaking, so I apologize. So um, that's sort of last minute, and I didn't have any time to prepare really, so. Al's fault. <laughs> So what my typical day is like is um, I, I have my students come in. My personal program is is a, a approximately an a ten a ten week program, forty business days, and I'll teach people how to use Word and Excel and PowerPoint and access internet, all that fun stuff. But we also find means and, and adaptabilities to help people cope with whatever barriers they do have. A lot of my clients come from the LNI system, they've been injured on the job, so they're in pain the day they come into our program and we help them to cope with that pain and learn how to work, be, uh, you know, their work ethic most of the time is amazing, so I don't have to worry about that, but just coping with the pain to help them get back to work, learn the new computer skills, some of them have never touched a computer. Don't want to learn the computer, but they're forced to be there. And we learn, we deal, we cook. So a typical day for me is just helping people to uh, make the computer available to them in whatever capacity they can figure out how to use it. In. And I try to talk to them in their language, whether it be truckers or warehouse or logging or whatever I can muster in my recollection and. and Try to make it work towards what they know already. So, any other questions? Yes, I forgot. Thank you very much. We <coughs> we've been adding other programs. We we do partner with LCC, and we do have a GED program that, that the LCC instructor comes over three days a week, and we help people who. Um, <coughs> get their GEDs and their, their diplomas and stuff. Um, we work, we have a construction program, I forgot to mention, and we work with troubled youth and uh, other folks to help them teach construction skills. We have a driving program where we help people get their driver's licenses. We have food handler, we can help people get their food handler's cards. Uh, we do an awful lot for as small of an agency as we are. So everybody knows that we have the Goodwill store, but very few people know that we have the training programs that help people to get back into um, our community and work. Yes? So how do you people find who you are and to get referred to us and so on? Most of the time we like referrals, but you're more than welcome to come into our local office on 14th next to the Goodwill store. We have some flyers and business cards. And um, they can walk in and we can help you to get you located into whatever program. We also have some free programs available too. Um, I, I mentioned the, the free word. So all of our programs have some sort of cost of, uh, involved. But what we do is we never like to have anybody pay out of pocket. We want them to, we have scholarships that are available for some and referrals for like L&I and DVR and others. Um, but we want you to, we want everybody to have a shot at learning and getting a job. So, yeah. Do you have a daycare? Not at this location. Um, we, would, we're, we would love to have something like that, but our facilities don't um, uh, let us have that ability yet.
I do not know the statistics. Paul actually would know that number better than I would because he was the director of that program. Um, but we have a high number of people that get jobs. We've had we had over 2,000 people get jobs in this community last year. So. Yes, Peggy. In our programs, each program helps the people get into working with their resumes, cover letters, thank you letters, and their job specific um, tasks that they need to do to look for jobs. Help with interviewing techniques, practice interviews, mock interviews. When I do mock interviews, I will, I will, will record them with a video camera so you can actually see you sweat and how you, if you fidget, if you sweat, if you're looking everywhere else but the person's eyes. So. I want you to see what you do so that way you can learn from your mistakes and help yourself in the long run. And it's a do as I say, not as I do, because I hate public speaking. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of dealings with the GD. I didn't talk loud enough. We received a letter for, uh, from Jody. He's our AmeriCorps person. He's the AmeriCorps person. Mike, first, did you get that letter a couple weeks ago? Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the other Mike first. We'll deal with it later, but we have received a, a request for volunteers. If you have math skills anywhere from grade four on up to 18 of skills. I know it. <laughs> they, can, they would receive donations of time. It's not money or anything. It's just time. Our GED, our GED program ranges from people that are 16 years old, drop out of high school, or trouble with the law, to as old as you need to be to they want to go back and get your GED. So it's not just limited by age. What did you Paul, did, Paul, did, Paul, Tom? Paul, did you have a. a, a I, uh, right. The, we do have a, an info session once a month, but the info session, I didn't bring any flyers of that. I brought some program guides just to see what some of the stuff we have. Our info session is basically doing what I'm doing right now, uh, getting up in front of the group of people that come and tell about all the different programs, what the different programs cost, how long the duration of the programs are. And um, you know, then you can figure out um, by the individual case managers if you qualify or if you want to come in. So some of our programs are background specific. So if you have a criminal background of some sort, some of our programs are not for you. But that doesn't mean that all of our programs are that way. Okay. Any more questions? Any more questions? Uh, I've been working on him for 15 years. <laughs> Words with friends. <laughs> okay. Bill, we'd like to thank you for coming. Thank you. We'd like to give you this mug. It has Pioneer Lions on it and also a membership application that Peggy was so encouraging you to do. <laughs> thank you, Peggy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have to learn how to write first. I'm going to go to the GED program. Oh. <laughs>